Oh, Sony, Sony. Are you recording? Yeah. It should be recording. Sick. All right, oh, I got people here. Look, they're, they're waiting. Yeah, you're the coach. In case you forgot. Go to your butt. All right, so I've watched a lot of people compete this weekend and last weekend, and nobody <laughs> is passing guard, and everybody's hesitating, and everybody's like freezing. Uh, so I understand that there's a lot to guard passing. So like everybody come in and just might as well have a seat. <laughs> Hang out for a minute. All right, we're all so like each other. Everybody I notice is like either just trying to run through the middle or just run around on the outsides. Right? And I get it, like when we start guard passing, uh, there's so much to it that we just want to get the last percent to just pass the guard. Okay? But we have to take it in steps and we have to start kind of figuring out our distance. Okay? Just like when you guys are striking, right? You can't just, I mean, you can, but if you just start wailing on your opponent and going after him, the chance of you getting knocked out increases greatly. Okay? So if I just jump at Ryan and try to pass his guard, right? the chance of me getting caught in a leg lock increases greatly because that's his specialty. So I have to take how I enter and how I attack um, into the equation of what I'm gonna do. And you have to know your opponents, that's the thing. Like when you're rolling with someone, right, I should know what their game is. We should all know that Ryan likes leg locks. Tyler Gordon likes leg locks. Tyler Allen doesn't do leg locks, right? For the most part. <laughs> so. How you approach somebody, that, that makes a big difference, right? Like if I know that someone can't leg lock me, I'll take more risks on how I pass. If someone can leg lock me, I have to make sure that I don't get caught with my foot sitting in their hip line, right? Because now I'm going to be playing this leg lock game. So <coughs> then you have to think about it like this. You have stand up passing, right? You have playing off your knees passing, right? Like a smash and passing or playing really low. Right? You have like a combat stance passing where you like put your leg up, okay? And, and then you have the distance management, okay? Which to me, like, this is far passing, right? I'm far away from him. He can't just necessarily suck me into his closed guard. He can't just get an attachment and arm bar me, right? Like, for him to do that, I have to be a lot closer to him. So playing out here is great, but at the same time, like, it's harder to pass. So, because when I do pass, I have to close a further distance without him regarding on me, all right? So, then I have like what I call near passing, which is right here, which is one of my favorite passing styles, where like I'm deep enough in, in the pocket, but not so deep that he can submit me, right? Like he can't just randomly shoot a magical Kimura or a, a triangle or an arm bar. Like if I'm down here, playing the smash and passing on my knees, like at any time he can pull this leg out and then he can like shoot a triangle on me, right? So like there's good passing styles. Like when I do pass from here, right? And I get under the, in the pocket, right? Like now I'm really connected to him that when I do pass, I'm gonna control it and he's not gonna get back to his guard, okay? So you have close passing, right? Like middle level passing and then far distance passing. And every person is gonna be different and how you pass, right? So these are things that you guys have to start thinking about. Austin especially. Yeah. Austin is the man at balls to the wall passing. <laughs> and normally it works in his favor. Yes. <laughs> but sometimes it doesn't, all right? So the other thing that you have to think about, where are you putting your hands, right? What are you guys doing with your hands? And these are things that when you're doing this, you have to start, I don't, you have to fail at passing millions of times. Okay, that's a given, right? But are you learning from it, right? Ask yourself, when I did this pass and I fell over, am I learning what I did wrong, right? Like I can grab Ryan's toes, right? This is, and Nogi is a really good grip because for him to get rid of his toes, it, it's not something he can just kick his feet off because no matter where he kicks his foot, it just moves my hand, right? So like being able to pass on the outside and do these things, Right? From a distance is safe and it takes a lot of work for him to get these things off. Okay? And then you have shins, right? The nice thing about shins is they keep his feet from coming on me. Anytime I pass somebody, okay, I have to keep their feet off of me. If his feet are on me, right, and this is another thing I want to go over, right? You guys are trying to knee cut with people's feet on you. 
Okay, and I see this a lot, especially at like the tournaments, right? Like somebody will be here and they'll try to knee cut and they'll run right into this guy's leg. Instead of addressing it and having no feet on you, you can't pass if a foot's on you, okay? So if somebody's feet are on you, your brain should immediately say, I have to address this problem first, then pass. Like right here, I'm not gonna pass, right? First, I'm gonna get his feet off of me, right? Then I can pass. His foot's still on me. This part's a little bit different, right? Because I can go here. So, but if his foot is on me in any way, okay, I'm gonna get his feet off of me and then I'm gonna start to set up my pass, okay? So first thing, get your opponent's feet off you. That's the first battle on however you're gonna enter the guard. If you're gonna enter it over here, I'm gonna control his feet, whatever way that is, right? When I go to the middle level passing, and I'm gonna play like here, right? What's he gonna do? His feet are gonna play a knee shield, a lasso, or whatever the case is. I'm gonna address the feet before I set the pass up, okay? So if I'm in here, and he puts his foot on my shoulder, right? I don't want this foot just floating around. I'm gonna circle the hand, and now I'm gonna be here. Now when he tries to get his foot on me, I'm gonna work so that he can't, and then, right? That's like the battle the whole time. It's just like hand fighting, right? Or when we're wrestling, right? We're fighting to get in the pocket and not let them put their feet on us, okay? Every little battle matter, matters. So I know that this is a lot to take in on how do we just get side control? How do we get mount or how do we get their back, okay? But hand fight, feet fight, okay? And get in the pocket and don't try to pass until all limbs are off of you. Does that make sense? Drills and we knee cut constantly and we knee cut constantly, but we're not sitting in the pocket and stopping the issues before we set the pass up. Okay, so like that's what I kind of want to work on. I want to work on controlling this leg right here and not letting this leg get out and come onto me, right? And I want to make sure this leg never comes on me. And that comes from like controlling his hip and my elbow and my posture. All right, I call it whatever you want to call it. I call it being in the pocket, right? Completely making it feel like he can't stop me. And then eventually I'm either gonna, you know, whether it's X pass over, whether it's leg weave this leg in and cut in this way, whether it's knee cut this way, right? It all comes in from the pocket, okay? And it comes from making sure that I cross my opponent's body at all times so that they can't come up on their side. Okay, so I want you guys to just practice on being in the pocket right here with posture and not fall over. And your opponent just trying to knock you over, right? So here's what's gonna happen a lot. Ryan's gonna just push his leg forward and he's gonna knock me over, right? That's gonna happen when you first start doing this. And you're gonna say, okay, where, where did I make my mistake? I let my weight get distributed too far backwards. Then Ryan's gonna lift me over his head, right? And this is gonna happen. And all those things are okay, but you have to learn how to regain your control in your base and get back in this pocket where he eventually gives up. He's like, all right, I can't knock him this way, I can't knock him this way, I can't knock him this way. And he's starting to like mentally realize he can't sweep you. That's when you wanna pass, when he starts to mentally break, right? Just like in the cage, right? As soon as your opponent starts backing up, you know, and they start hesitating, that's when you wanna unload on them, okay? I don't wanna go freshly right into a knee cut when he's full strength and he's ready to retain guard. I want him when he's already quitting on himself to then pass, okay? So in the pocket here, right? Just think about it like this, especially in nogi, all right? We're gonna X pass over, elbow to knee, right? Then we're gonna come back, right? We're gonna step and then this leg on the outside is gonna weave in and then the foot's gonna come out. <clears throat> I want my body, if you notice, my head's are always crossing his body, okay? We're gonna come back up and then we're gonna keep cut through, right? Again, my head's on the other side of his body and I'm getting my underhooks to cross him, okay? So just get smooth at being in the pocket and keeping their feet off you, keeping your base not falling over, and then setting up those three, three sequences, okay? All right, I'm just gonna show you one closed guard pass, which is my most effective pass. <clears throat> Lots of different ways to pass closed guard. Uh, 
the most effective is not to go into the closed guard. Right? <coughs> Please avoid the closed guard like the play. Don't get here. Okay. Like, look, I don't know how many times this weekend. Oh, no. Hello. That's not like it. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Welcome home, like, uh. Hello. 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 <laughs> the most so, awkward hello. <laughs> I don't know how many times this weekend and last weekend I saw, like, where people were like this, right? Like, they went to pass and now they're sitting here and, and he's trying to get close guard and I just sit here and, like, accept it. Right? Like, and that should be the worst thing in the world. To me, closed guard is worse than mount. I would rather somebody mount me than put me in closed guard any day. Okay? He has every limb in the world to try to sweep me or submit me. All right? So this position sucks, and trying to get out of his legs is a nightmare. So anytime, open up. Anytime you're like really close, like right here, like in his feet, right? They're like right on the edge. Like just back up and get out of there. Don't accept closed guard, okay? But now if you're here, now we're here, right? So what I need to do for, for the way that I pass is I need to get him to do a high guard, okay? So if his legs are low on my hips, right, it's not gonna work. I need his legs to be higher, okay? And I can do that a couple different ways. I like to go into his armpits, right? Here, okay? Just be aware of your wrist for wrist locks. Like don't do this and then get your wrist wrist locked. Okay, clamp, and then back yourself up, right? So that you're getting a high guard for him, right? Does that make sense? All right. I can also put my like hands in his rib cage, and I can like back myself up. But see how much space I'm getting here? All right, and my head's up. All right. So now, what I want to do is I need to put my leg in the middle there, and this is where everybody messes up. Okay. I see everybody like try to stand up, and then they like put the knee in the butt, and they're like wobbly. Okay, so step one leg out, <clears throat> all right, back, right? He's gonna feel like that's the leg I wanna step up on and he wants to grab it, okay? And then bring the knee through, all right? Make your knee and your elbow work together. No matter how hard he squeezes here, his legs are gonna get tired, okay? So step back, get the guard as high as possible, all right? Step up, bring the knee right through the middle. Train yourself to do this every time, all right? Now I gotta make sure that I don't fall over, all right? And I gotta make sure that I keep sinking through Ryan. So look, my elbow and my knee are working together to open his hips. As soon as they open, all right, I'm, I'm going this way, so my head's going this way, all right? Here, over, all right? You're back stepping out. So I want, they're gonna feel like they're gonna catch your leg and they're gonna get half guard, but they're not if you do it correctly. Are you backstepping or are you just stepping over? Backstepping. Here, pop through, elbow and knee work together. My, my head and body's going this way so he can't knee shield me, right? Like if, if I'm here, he's gonna do this, right? If I'm here, now when he does it, right? There's no way for him to knee shield me. I'm connected this part of my body to his one side. So that this part, because look, sometimes I'll be here like this, right? So the, the idea is that we go to this base right here and our elbow and knee work together. So if they're super strong, it's gonna keep opening his legs, all right? Then I'm gonna float through and I wanna hide this leg on top because I don't wanna have this happen and get caught half down. Especially if I'm losing it, I need the three points. Okay? This leg's hiding on top. All right? And then I'm coming over. All right? Also, you can always go this way. Right? But if I'm going to switch, so if I'm here, right, and I just know for a fact that he's not letting me go this way for whatever reason, this turns into your underhook now. And then this cuts across this way. That makes sense? All right, so please work on getting out of closed guard, not getting in closed guard. Bam. 
Ты Tap cushion? Yeah, those jokes are dope. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to get out of it later. How'd it look? It looks good, Eric. Scrambly. <laughs> what? You missed the whole footage? No, I've, you've been in the middle of the frame the whole time. I got smashed. By who? Thank <laughs> you. 
That's my move. Pass. That's not fair. 